Let's take a really close look at this cheap red laser pointer. This is the lens barrel, a spring inside that holds a focusing lens. This is the circuit board that holds the chip and the current limiting resistor. Let's take it apart. A gentle tug with pliers and pop, apart it comes. You can see it's built down to a price. All one board, small counter for the chip, but it's too small. Let's zoom in 10 times. The bond wire on top is positive, negative below. The laser is just that tiny red dot. Let's switch to a scanning electron microscope. 30 times. 150, positive contact in red. 300, purple is my substrate. 1000, insulator in green. 3000 times. The structure is built bottom up, layer by layer. You can see the crystals of the gold contact. Now let's zoom all the way in. Here's the substrate, contact on top, and the insulator. And if we get even closer, you can see the P and N cladding, as well as the active P and N area. Let's slice it in half and see how it works. Electrons, negative charge carriers, and holes, positive charge carriers exist in the N and P type regions. Where those regions meet, a depletion region forms where carriers diffuse, creating an electric field that balances their flow. Applying a voltage disrupts this balance, pushing electrons and holes into the active region where they recombine, releasing photons. With enough voltage, more electrons occupy higher energy states, creating a population inversion. When a photon bouncing between the mirror edges of the chip passes an excited electron, it triggers a stimulated emission, producing an identical photon, coherent monochromatic light. This cascades, so we get light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, or laser.